this is exciting. I love history because, you know, looking at all, we've only had Iranian, Russian, and the United States in championship bouts. So a little different flavor here at 70 kilo. Yeah, that trend about to change. Gold medal, weight number nine of the men's freestyle, only 97 remains. Yeah, a lot of upper body, almost resembling a Greco type format when you look at Kyrgyzstan and Akhmatolaev who just wants to tie you up, use his strength in those body positions, body lock throws. Gachiev in the dark singlet, the dark blue. A couple of heavy hands now changing his levels a little bit, cut off by Akhmatolaev. And, and Gachiev's defense is phenomenal. We're not going to see him take a whole lot of straight on attacks. He's calculated with his attacks. He's not going to let Akhmat Aliyev into his chest at any time. He's seasoned, he's a veteran, and he's going to keep his hands and head position in the right place. That doesn't mean that Akhmat Aliyev is not going to go in and take the attack. First stoppage, first whistle, first warning goes to Kyrgyzstan. And you see Ruslan Majidov, the coach of Kyrgyzstan. And he was fourth in the world back in 1998 for Kyrgyzstan. Spent some time in the United States, and now back in his home country where he's doing an amazing job in putting the team together. Kyrgyzstan has really been on a roll in freestyle, putting the sport and its style on the map, not just here in the men's with a chance for history, but with what Tainai Bekova has been able to do. She became the first Kyrg to win a world gold medal a couple of years ago in Nur Sultan. We'll be seeing her a little bit later on tonight. Only takes one or two champions to, to kind of open up the window shades and let the rest of the country see what the possibilities might be. 100%. Approaching the two minute mark of this first period, no score. The two battering Rams hitting forehead to forehead. You see the bloodied remnants of the right ear just above the uh, patch job for Gadchia. He is on the activity clock. 20 seconds on the activity clock, about a minute to go in this opening period. Again, you might lull yourself to sleep a little bit with Akhmat Alaya thinking, well, he's not doing much, and then before you can blink, he's in and he is launching someone. Right, and, and he, he gets chest to chest, he throws head throws, but Gachiev, He's really going to pull on that head. He has a pretty high stance because he's incredible at defense. You're not going to see him take a whole lot of low attacks. But he is a hand fighter, and he'll punish you with his clubs of hands. You know, when you look at a guy like God Chiev and his his long career, he's been doing this for a while. You wonder about the cross training, Greco-Roman so big in Poland, and you know, you described a style there, head up, upper body, tie-ins, you, you wonder how much cross training he's done with some of his fellow countrymen in Poland. Yeah, he has no fear to pummel. He has no fear to head fight and hand fight, and he's comfortable in a close match. Gachiev, a world bronze medalist in 2019. Had a win in the round of 16 to get that opportunity to wrestle for bronze, beating James Green in the round of 16 that year. Well, for Akhmat Alayev, twice he has placed seventh at the Asian Championships. Senior level event, that's his highest placing. He talked about the fifth place run at U23 Worlds in 2019. He wanted to do the sport of wrestling after watching some fellow countrymen growing up. The great Begolayev compete at the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. He remembered watching Kyrgyzstan represented. He said, I want to be that guy someday, and he was. He had the dream become a reality. And now maybe some young Kyrg watching back home saying, I want to be this guy. The guy that brings home a world gold for the first time. And, and you said to get here, he had to win some wars and some really close bouts. He's keeping it close and up one to zero. But right there, they're going to put him on the clock. 
Chance for Gachiev to get the equalizer on the board. A little bit of urgency though. More purpose with Akhmad Alayev trying to get to the body. But you really hit it on the button earlier. Gachiev's hand defense. I mean, he is, he is a, a, a tough armor to crack. He is, and he's got huge thighs, huge waist, and it's just solid steel. Yeah, because of those hips, it almost looks like he has a smaller upper body torso. But his hips like, are so hips strong, are like tree trunks down below. Now he comes in on a shot. Opportunity to score for Godchia. Has the left leg elevated. He set that up just by taking a little back step. Uh, uh, Makhaliev stepped in and Gachiev not needing to change his level much, got to the leg. And he's gonna look to eat, just get at the least one point on the step out, which he does. He gets the activity point, followed by the step out and a two to one lead. And the Polish coach saying, just get your chest and head up. But at this point, he's difficult to beat when he gets a lead. The tiny peak of daylight becomes non-existent when he has a lead. He doesn't give you much to begin with, and he just shuts all the blinds when he gets that lead. We'll find out if this magical run for the 23-year-old from Kyrgyzstan continues. 45 seconds to go, down a point. Trying to wiggle and shake free, trying to drive in a left arm underhook. Godchiev just continues to shield them off. And you hear the coach, Majinov from Kyrgyzstan saying blue passive, he's trying to get a passive call on to Gajiev. But Gajiev smarts, keeping his body to the center of the mat, not taking any back steps. Now or never, nine seconds, Poland Sensing in the corner, you could see the Polish coaches. One last flurry, and for the first time, Poland wins the world gold. And he's put in his time for so many years. A well-deserved championship for Gaciev. So you, you think about the Eastern Bloc of countries and you think of Poland and their many times world runner-ups. This is their first ever world champion in the history of world championships.